Uh, more somber now. You've had a pretty crazy couple weeks. Yeah, pretty intense, um, man. How are you doing? I'm doing well, you know. Uh, the first six days, it was tears and laughter, tears and laughter, back and forth, back and forth. Losing a, a mentor and a partner of 34 years is hard, especially when he's the elder of your tribe. Yeah. And when he leaves, there's, there's a big empty space, you know, except for all the memories they have. And there's a lot more memories to laugh about than there are. And I think that's what he wanted was laughter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is, is it... Would he have wanted to go out that way? I mean, it seems like the, the perfect bow on, like... If that sounds morbid, I'm sorry, but... Everybody says it, you know? Um, he's, he's one of those mythical figures. He's a legend in his own time yeah. when he was alive. And he was at the peak of his career, never sounding better vocally or uh, playing-wise. He was just getting stronger and stronger. And um, his wife, Sarah, took care of him, made sure that he took his medicine when he needed to, and uh, he, he probably lived longer because of the love that, that she had for him. Um, on a positive note, what, what do you take away from that whole experience of that night? Um, just, just everything leading up to, to what happened, but the energy before the show, the energy during. Um. You know, that room, 5,000 people, in a venue, probably one of the nicest yeah. venues in the world. Yeah, yeah, totally. Just uh, chanting his name and yelling out their love for him. The, the room was filled with so much love, it, you could almost feel it, you could almost hold it in your hand. Everybody backstage was praising him and uh, just you know, wanted to be near him. Pretty beautiful thing. It was a beautiful thing, man. And he was fatigued from the road. He came from a gig the night before in, in Selma, Alabama. Uh, so I think all, everything lined up for that uh, particular exit at that time. What's his legacy? Oh, uh, jeez, you it's know. A, it's such a loaded question, I'm sorry. Yeah. But. Well, to me, uh, uh, he, to me, he was a father, a brother, a cousin. He was a crazy uncle. He was a neighbor. Sometimes he was my son. He was, as he put it, he was a hundred different people. Yeah. But he was tapped into something uh, cosmic, and that sounds weird, but Not I have a hundred stories of him doing uh, psychic things right in front of total strangers, picking out birthdays repeatedly. Like a honed antenna, you know what I mean? The yeah. more he honed it, the more things came to him. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 was, he was tapped into something that I don't, I have never witnessed before or since. And, and he used it to um, get people to start thinking about why they were doing what they were doing. If it was for the right reasons. And yeah, you know, his, his big word was intention. You know, what are you here for? Why are you doing it? What matters most to you? And his perspective really helped us kind of uh, put our ego in check. You know, times when we got real self-assured and cocky, yeah. he would help remind us that we were doing nothing but rubbing our hands across a piece of wood when you're playing guitar. And, you know throwing some wood against some plastic or some metal if you're a drummer. What about you personally, off stage? What did, what did you learn from him? Uh, how you approach life? Right. Um, well, he, his examples to me that he lived were full engagement with people. Uh, total strangers, if they were sober and um, had a, an air of, I don't know, uh, let me start over. He would give anybody the time of day if they were sober yeah. and, and he'd wait for you to sober up to talk to you the next time if you weren't you know so I, I would see a whole bunch of fans come some just totally uh, clear and yeah. some just you know at the end of the night not so clear but he always had because um, he wanted the transparency in the conversation probably right? I mean, well he wanted then, engagement yeah yeah because yeah. he could look in your eyes and sum you up in you know a few minutes and he would just ask you questions and get your reaction he wanted people to play with him, like a little boy. Yeah. So he would ask the silliest questions, and, and sometimes they confuse people and they would run away. Other people would stay with him and just end up walking away from the conversation, really realizing something new about themselves. Yeah. 
Yeah. What a gift to, to give somebody. Well, and, and when you say that childlike wonder, it, at least in my opinion as a music journalist, I think that's one of the most important things to hold on to as a, as a performer. Yeah. It's to never lose that childlike wonder of creativity. Yeah, I think that has a lot to do with staying sane too. Yeah, you know, your inner child is uh, is meant to blossom into a unique flower. You know, your your gifts are not my gifts. Yeah, and you're meant to be you 100. percent So he he helps everybody around him feel good about what they did and how they did it, and that they should be doing it. You know, and if you weren't doing it, you know. You have to tap into that yeah. essence of yourself to be yourself. And when you and I have talked over the years, you, you have that same philosophy. I, I would I would gauge because you're very into the moment and making those real connections with people on stage and off. Right. Yeah. I think you know he is a magnet. Bruce was a magnet for people who wanted to express themselves but couldn't fully in their current situation. So by opening the door into his bands. Uh, those who really, really wanted to express themselves could find a vehicle to do everything and anything they wanted to. Do you see, I know that you've always been open to teaching people and being a mentor yourself, but do you see more of a responsibility in the Absolutely. torch bearing? Yeah, of course. Somebody turned to me after uh, a couple of days of talking and said, well, you're one of the elders now. So I decided to grow a beard. <laughs> I mean, you're not old by any means, but does that I'm weird you out now? I'm 58, and most people I play with are younger than me. Yeah. So, uh, in all my bands, I've always had one person that was older. But that's happening less and less now, you see. <laughs> so, what do you take away from all that, that experience that now people are looking to you as, as that mentor? Well, it's a, it, it is a responsibility. And I do sen I, I have a sense of... Uh, commitment to it on a higher level than I ever have before. So uh, I try to take those lessons Bruce was living. And the way he treated me, I think I'd like to treat others. It's, uh, there's, a, there's a kind of a spiritual quality to it. And there's also the realization that life is short. And one second of inspiration can last a person's whole lifetime. And likewise, one second of shame can affect their entire rest of their life. So words matter, intention matters, and uh, every actions. opportunity to express something positive is, is uh, essential, I think, is required.